Why people are rude, angry, and disrespectful. Hi, I'm a therapist. In my private and group sessions, I hear many stories about rude, angry, and disrespectful people. Many of my clients are coming to ask me how to react when other people treat them badly. The ability to create healthy boundaries is one of the most important topics in therapy. Sometimes my clients say that they catch themselves being rude towards their parents, their kids or other people. They say that their emotions take control over them and by the time they realize it, the damage is already done. They have already said things that they did not really want to say. They promise their partners never to do it again, but in a stressful situations or in the middle of a conflict, they repeat it again, again, and again. Today, I would like to talk to you about reasons why people get angry, about the six true reasons why people say offensive words, act disrespectfully, and rude. Before we start, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! On this channel, I help you to become happier, healthier, and more successful in life. Every week, I release a new video about self-esteem, relationships, money, self-love, limiting beliefs, and all other essential topics that will help you to achieve your goals and truly enjoy your life. If you're new to my channel, subscribe right now so you won't miss my next video on another important topic. If you are in a difficult situation and would like to receive my professional advice, pause the video right now and type your question in the comments. I will be happy to help you. This is the great opportunity for you to receive my professional opinion for free. So be brave. Share your question in the comments and remember that your happiness depends on you. And if you want to receive seven free self-development webinars, seven free guided meditations, and seven free healing exercises, then check the link below the video or visit elenasemenek.com slash free. Let's get back to today's topic. Why people are rude? angry and disrespectful. There are rude people. There are disrespectful people. There are angry people. 99% of these people are simply acting this way because they are not happy. They have low self-esteem or they are in a bad situation where they feel helpless. They are trying to protect their boundaries and they are using anger as their coping mechanism. Let's talk about each reason in detail. Reason number one why people are rude, angry and disrespectful is because it is their defense mechanism. People with low self-esteem can easily become offended. When somebody is crossing their boundaries, they want to protect themselves. Because of their low self-esteem, they are extremely sensitive to other people's opinion. If you raise your intonation a bit, they often feel criticized and judged. They get emotional over small things. With these people, you might feel that you need to be very careful with every word that you are saying. These people get offended even before you finish the sentence. They may seem rude, and disrespectful, but in reality, they're extremely sensitive and defensive. They get emotional and that is why they're using insulting words. They will raise their voice, their intonation, they will attack you mentally and sometimes physically because they feel pain inside. Of course, they don't have a right to be abusive or rude towards you. And in most cases, these people don't want to be rude. Later, they regret their behavior. They apologize and ask to forgive them. But in the next misunderstanding, they continue saying mean words. They know which buttons to press. And they do it. Unfortunately, they cannot control their emotions. 
And even though they apologize for their behavior before, they keep hurting others again, again, and again. If you catch yourself going through this cycle, if you are hurting people without meaning to, I highly recommend finding a therapist. There is nothing wrong with you. You're not crazy. You're not a bad person. You just need to find someone who can help you to release your pain. Someone who can understand what is happening with you. Someone who can help you to build healthy self-esteem and communicate your needs and your desires in a healthy way. If some of your friends, family members or co-workers are going through these behavioral patterns, just share this video with them. Post it on your social media. They might see it and might recognize themselves and ask for help. So please stop the video right now and share it on your social media. Do it right now. Reason number two why people are rude, angry and disrespectful is because they want you to hear them. A person often would raise their voice, their intonation, because this person believes that if they get loud, people will hear them. The person believes that if you are nice and polite, then other people will walk over you. But if you're firm, loud, and show your power, then people will respect you and will follow you. Such people often don't notice how they cross in the line and become rude and disrespectful. They honestly believe that you must show people who the boss is and you must not show any weaknesses if you want others to respect you. They also believe that if they show their feelings and emotions, people will think that they are weak and will use them. So that's why if they show their true feelings, people will laugh at them and will not take them seriously. These people were raised in a belief that you should be strong 24-7 and never let your emotions control you. Let's move on to reason number three. Reason number three why people are rude, angry, and disrespectful is prolonged conflict in a relationship. This type of rudeness often happens among people who are going through series of misunderstandings and conflicts. One of the examples of a prolonged conflict is a generational disagreement. It can be a generational conflict when parents refuse to accept that their child is an adult. Parents try to control their kids, their adult children, expecting them to follow their values and their expectations. Because parents and adult children often desire different things in life, they might go through a lot of conflicts. Each side is trying to prove their opinion, but they don't hear each other. Therefore, they're raising their voices and using aggressive intonation. They might accuse each other of being stupid or use some other disrespectful words. What each party really wants is to be heard and understood. This is a generational conflict. Uh, in reality, they don't need to understand each other and they might never understand each other. What they need is to accept each other and allow each other to be different. They need to let go of their expectations. Parents need to let go of the idea that their kids are like them and therefore they have to follow their footsteps. And adult children need to stop waiting for parental approval and support. Another example of a prolonged conflict often happens in a married or dating couples who are going through a separation or even divorce. They no longer want to make an effort to listen to each other and to accept each other's needs. Partners don't want to hear each other's opinions, they are just trying to prove their own. They ignore each other and hurt each other. They are using insulting and disrespectful words trying to prove their own points. They know each other's triggers and they are using them, hurting each other more and more and more. Let me know in the comments if you can relate to this point. If this point resonates with you, 
let me know what does it mean for you when you are trying to tell your partner and your partner is not listening let's move on to reason number four reason number four why people are rude angry and disrespectful is the inability to express anger towards the real abuser let me explain when a person cannot express his anger towards the one who offended him they have to find somebody else for that purpose for example when a boss rude and disrespectful towards his employee the employee cannot respond and when he comes home he is stressful nervous and then he screams at his wife if the wife can't express her anger with her husband maybe she is afraid of him or maybe she does not want to escalate the conflict so she has to find somebody else for that purpose she was hurt she feels pain she does not know what to do with her feelings now the wife is nervous and stressed kids can feel the tension they can feel the anger and pain in the air they are acting out as a result the parents are screaming at their kids now kids don't know what to do with their feelings they might hurt their pet or they might keep their feelings inside the next day at daycare or school they misbehave and can even create a fight parents receive calls and get angry at their kids they are disappointed and worried uh, as a result parents might overreact at work and say rude things to their colleagues and their subordinates and then their co-workers go home and release their anger to their spouses do you see the chain it goes on and on and on unfortunately when a person cannot respond or does not know how to respond to rudeness they suppress their feelings inside and these negative feelings might come out any moment the person might become mean in a second and he or she can become aggressive over small things often the person regrets their behavior but it is already too late that's why it is so important to learn how to build your healthy boundaries to learn how to manage your emotions and how to release your feelings in a healthy way before we talk about the next reason i would like to invite you to my happiness club that i created for people just like you who want to learn how to release their negative feelings without hurting others or themselves so if you want to create healthy boundaries and truly enjoy your relationship then check the link in the video description it will take you only a few seconds to join the club and you will then have instant access to my entire database that includes guided meditations self-development webinars life coaching techniques art therapy and much more check the link below the video let's move to the next reason reason number five why people are rude angry and disrespectful is a wrong belief that they have the right to be rude this is also some type of defense mechanism a person acts rudely because somebody or something hurt them they see themselves as a victim they believe that if someone was rude to them then now they have the right to be rude in retaliation if someone calls me names then i can hurt the person back if someone if someone raises their voice then i can show my voice as well these people believe that life is not fair to them often they are afraid of confrontation and therefore they like to complain about the problems to their friends a good friend would listen and probably try to help but you have to remember this is not a one-time event this is the type of person who always complain their friend might offer a solution but in 99 percent they will reject it they are not looking for a solution they just want attention 
That's why they keep complaining and accusing others of being rude, disrespectful, and mean to them. At some point, a friend would get tired and stop helping. And here come rudeness and aggression. When a person has a victim mindset and does not get attention, they become angry. Now they blame their friend for being cold and ignorant and they get stuck in their victim mentality even deeper than before. Life is unfair to them, people are rude and ignorant, and nobody cares about them. This is a detrimental, limiting belief that slowly makes a person rude, angry, and disrespectful to others. And finally, reason number six why people get rude, angry, and disrespectful is jealousy. Some people get really jealous when they see another person have a better car, a better house, or a better job. Their jealousy makes them angry. They feel that the other person is above them because they have all these expensive things. So they feel like they are at the bottom and somebody else is on top. In order to feel good about themselves, they judge and criticize others. They have to put another person down in order to feel better. People with high ambitions but without significant achievements in life often react to other people's successes aggressively. They especially get angry when their friends, family and co-workers achieve greater results than them. Every time when they see their friends and family succeeding, they experience the feeling that there is something wrong with them. They almost feel like the other person has something that they were supposed to have. They have to criticize other people's successes in order to deal with their feelings of being miserable. The more they criticize, the less miserable they feel. That's why they, they can be extremely rude, extremely angry, and disrespectful. They're basically raising their self-esteem by putting you down. Let me know in the comments if you know such people, or maybe you catch yourselves being jealous and acting rude and disrespectful towards others. There were the six true reasons why people are rude, angry, and disrespectful. Now that you know the reasons, you can find the appropriate way to respond to their mean behavior. And once again, I invite you to join my happiness club where you can learn how to create healthy boundaries and how to enjoy your relationships. If this video was helpful, please give me a like and share it with your friends and family. I would really appreciate it. Write your question in the comments and I will be happy to share my professional opinion with you. And remember, your happiness depends on you. So check the links in the video description. Subscribe to my channel, share my videos, and I will see you in my next important video. Bye!